everyone. So I'm going to just do a raw kind of review video on this uh, bike trainer that I just bought uh, for about $100 off of Amazon. The Song Mix Indoor Bike Trainer. Um, I saw a lot of good reviews on it uh, and it's fairly inexpensive compared to other bike trainers that you have out there. Um, so I went with it. Uh, I have not really put on the miles on it yet. Um, so I'm just trying to get my bikes configured to see what works best. Uh, fairly simple setup. Uh, it took me a little while, maybe five minutes or so, to just kind of figure out how the bike went in. Um, but you definitely need to use, uh, take out the uh, bike um, spoke thingy. I'm sure you can all comment and tell me what this is. I just can't think of the name right now. Um, but this is the one that goes to the bike. It came with one. And it has more of a knob at the end, so it'll fit right in here in order for the contraption to work. Uh, so that's pretty key. Um, you just fit the bike in. It sets up. You can. Uh, here's how you do the resistance on the bike trainer portion of it. So you just kind of once once you get it in there, you do about two little short cranks to get that resistance with the wheel. Now what's nice about this one is that it does have this additional resistance uh, setting on it, one through six, and you literally just set it like that. You could go all the way up to six resistance, which is pretty hard, um, but it gives you enough workout. And you know what they don't tell you is that you can also use the regular bike gears for resistance as well. So you could change your gears on it, not a problem. Um, so what I like about it is it's a pretty easy setup. It comes with a front wheel uh, holder, which I think is pretty key. Um, and then uh, I don't have anything underneath it right now, but uh, you can put a pad under it. I heard a lot of people sweat a lot, so it's probably good. That's why I got that little yoga mat over there um, to put on the bottom one if I sweat. Uh, but overall, I like it. The only thing I, I'm going to switch out is, uh, so I asked a lot of questions, you know, does this work with a triathlon bike? Um, and it certainly does. Um, however, uh, it does rub up against here a little bit on my bike frame that I did not like. And it chipped off a little bit of piece of paint already right here, actually. So I don't like that. Um, so that's why... I'm going to switch to my road bike over here because as you can tell, it rubs a little bit right there. Not sure why. Maybe I can make an adjustment. Um, but here it's got pretty big indents. Um, so I'm going to try to see if that will work out a lot better than what I have on my current tri bike. But let me get on it real quick. It's actually uh, pretty quiet. Easy to get on. Just click in. And I don't know any other bike trainers, to be honest. Um, but it's quiet. And like I said, you can do the resistance, which makes it tougher. Crank a little bit more. Ease off of it. I don't know if you can hear it. It's really not that loud. It's really more the bike that you can hear. But it works pretty good. It's, it's stable. Um, I mean, again, I, I have not put a lot of miles on it at all. So this is just kind of an initial review. And I'm going to set up my other bike and I'll show you that. How that works and if it works any better with the frame. But for a hundred bucks, I think this is pretty good. I think I could get a pretty good workout in. Alright, and to set this up, I'm going to put my other bike on here. Like I said before, this, just use this little handle. I'm probably going to have to put the camera down. Pop this off, which loosens the end on that end. Takes it off from that. Now the bike will be free.
just like that. And it actually stays there. You can actually undo this a little bit. So this is this tightens it so it doesn't go anywhere. So you do that. You can turn this and this will go in. But I don't think we need to do that. Oops, undo this as well. the bike out like so what is it catching on so like I say you just turn this oh, just way in there make sure that's loose there you go and just like that it's out That comes up like that, comes back, goes back like this, and you just like out of here. And this just claps on like this. Just loosen that up. little contraption See? clamps on right onto the handlebar all right all right I'm gonna show you that this is the thingy bobber that comes with the spike trainer make sure these things you take a mental picture of these fat end out all right because they twirl see they come with two one on this end one on this end you have them on this one as well so you're going to take this one off, the one that came on the bike. Reason being is because it's not a big knob on the right side for the bike trainer to grasp onto. So that's why it comes with its own. You just do that, you put this back on like so. And make sure you do that so you don't lose it. Okay. And I take the one that came with the trainer and put this on because you need this big old heavy duty metal knob in order for the bike to be held on to the bike trainer. And it goes right on through. Put this back on. And tighten it up. There you go. Just like you're changing your tire. And let's see how tight we want to go. This thing's coming out on this end. I don't know if that's too much. Yep. Not enough. It's the porch, got to be just right. Okay, let me see if I can get a good angle. Now I'll show you how to move the bike. push this all the way back all the way back and just want to line this up like that. unscrew this comes out it matches up Too tight. Let's loosen this one up a little bit. Not just a tad. Okay. Let's see if that works. There we go. There we go. So you can see I have to do with this to make sure that was tight. That one. 
push this down, lock that in. So this pushing this down, may this go in, lock into there. And then here, what I do is push this up against the tire. And I want to try and get this. There's a hole back here. There you go. And once, there you go. Lock that into the hole. And you just move it up. It says once you hit the tire, about two little rotations. One, two. Sounds about right. Kind of give it a spin. You get some resistance. There you go. Just like that. And like I mentioned before, this one does fit nicer than my tri bike because it doesn't hit scratch up against this frame part of the axle. And this is in and tight. And then you just want to make sure that you put your front bike tire on there. And now you're good to go. Let's give this a whirl. I haven't been on my bike in a while. So let's see if I don't bust myself. Oh, I forgot the little resistance thing. Works pretty good. Not too loud at all. Let's get it up there. It's not loud at all. I would not worry about having to wake up my neighbors. It's pretty good. And I'll put a fan up in front of me. And then I'll put a YouTube video, riding video on my TV. And just ride for hours. Thanks for watching.